Hey guys, it's Willie Sandry. Today we're looking at bandsaw blades. We've got a Proforce bandsaw blade from Laguna and also a very special three quarter inch Resaw King. So carbide tipped, we'll check it out. We've got a couple varieties. One is the Laguna Proforce blades. These I've been really impressed with. The machining on them, the welds are usually very good and to the point where you don't even notice them when they're on the saw. Uh, they're just really smooth in operation and they stay sharp. So uh, Laguna Pro Force, this one's a, a quarter inch blade. Um, one of my top two blades that I use. Another one that I've always got on the saw is uh, a half inch Pro Force blade. Um, that tends to be my number one all purpose blade unless I have to do um, a cut with a tighter radius. So, But today I want to look at a special blade. It's a Resaw King and it's a carbide tip blade. So we're going to put that on the saw and see how it performs. Okay, we've got the Resaw King on the bandsaw. We've set the lower guides and now we just need to adjust the upper guides. First thing I like to do is bring the thrust guide so it just barely touches the back of the blade and go ahead and lock the knob in. And then I just gently pinch the guides in as I work this assembly forward and back until I feel like I have the ceramic guides just behind the gullet of the blade. And maintaining the slightest of pressure on the guides, I'll go ahead and lock in this knob. And then you can just do one by one, gently start tightening these knobs. And if you feel like you've got good support without pinching the blade, why then you go ahead and lock those knobs home. And I think at this point we're ready to do some resawn. Okay, so we'll get the dust collection going here and we'll give the resaw king a try. Okay, first thing I notice is, look at that, minimal amount of dust that's on there with our recent dust collection mods. I mean, I don't think you could hope for much better than that, just a speck here or two with this two and a half inch port that we added to the 1412 bandsaw. As far as cut quality, looks excellent. I mean, I've had jointers that leave about that smooth of a surface. Um, it's maybe not helical head smooth, but one light pass through your planer and I think you've got a great project piece and you're ready for woodworking. So even a really detailed inspection under a raking light, that is a really nice bandsaw on surface. That's as good as it, I can expect from a bandsaw. That's a really nice cut. I'll just move them. Maybe you can pick up some of the bandsaw marks, but they are just really minimal, nice, straight, flat cuts. So I've been using the Laguna Pro Force blades for a while now, and I've been really happy with them. They've solved a couple of the problems that I was having with other blades. First and foremost, just dulling too quickly. And the other problem I've had with similar blades are that it, the cut is so aggressive that um, you actually lose some of your control over the cut. So really happy with the Pro Force blades in that regard. Now with the addition of the Resaw King, I think I'll be using that quite a bit as well, uh, especially for resawing capacity. So 
I've been happy with the Laguna blades. Next time you're out shopping for bandsaw blades, check them out. Thanks for watching.